Indian Christians are only 2.3% of the total population spread all over the country. We are a very insignificant minority with a very little power in the social sphere spread across 28 Indian states and 8 Union territories. This church has a great diversity with regard to the regional, social, cultural, linguistic and ethnic setup. The Indian church communities contribute in a major way to the national welfare in the fields of education, healthcare and social work. Thus, it is not easy to give the general view of the Indian church. Perhaps this video might help you to have an understanding of the present reality of the Indian Church. Hi guys, I want to tell you something. Father Cyril is asking us to make a video depicting the mission of the Church in India and that's for the FABC. Do you know what FABC is? Yes, of course I know. Federation of Asian Bishops Conference. Very good. If so, we can prepare a script based on the report of the CCDI. Yeah, sure. We can make a video of question and answers. In that case, we need someone to act as Mother Church. Do you know someone? Jerome, that day the girl was dancing very well. Do you know her? Uh, is it Fatima? No, no, not her. Is it Varna? Yeah, her name is Varna. Then why the delay guys? Let's kick start. Even after the past 75 years of India being politically constituted as a parliamentary democracy, you, the Indian church, seems to be nowhere. Yes, your mission in India is an utter failure. Perhaps you might have heard the old saying, India, the graveyard of missionaries. Various missionaries, including St. Thomas the Apostle, had shed his precious blood in this land of saints and sages. India is often regarded as a deeply religious country. Remember, Catholicism is here not to establish a religion, but a relationship with one another, a relationship with a culture, with the socio-economic nature of this country. However, on the other hand, the Christians continue to live the gospel lives. Apart from Sira Malabar and Sira Malankara churches, Christianity came to India with colonial powers, so it's an alien religion upon Indian soil. Christianity never landed in India as conversion as its goal. 
It preached the good news for the needy. It has been an indigenous religion in India for close to two millennia. Both native Christians and foreign missionaries have been a part of the various social movements in the country. And of course, in independent India, there was Mother Teresa, the Indian saint from Albania, who cared for the sick, dedicated her life to the service of the poor. Your educational apostolate has been and continues to be the forte of the church in India. Indeed, if at all, the church and Christianity is known all across the nation. It's mainly because of your schools, colleges and universities. But the critics would emphasize that the quality of education imparted by Christian schools practice elitism and caste-based education because they teach English only to the elite Indians while the Dalits are forced to study in the vernacular languages. Open your eyes to see the light. Christ wants not nibblers of the possible, but grabbers of the impossible. Alongside the pastoral work, my mission is active in three traditional apostolates, education, healthcare, and social developmental ministries, but with certain limitations. In almost all our remote village schools, Boarding and hostels are attached to provide free education for both girls and boys and to those who blame that we neglect the empowering of Dalits. To those I should say to read for themselves Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's The Annihilation of Caste where he states, Civilizing the Aborigines means adopting them as your own. In short, loving them. Irrespective of church politics, and caste politics exist within the church by and large Christians in India are absent or shy away from the political scene they often regard it as dirty politics the result no clear understanding of what is happening in the country don't forget the exceptions since education goes a long way in molding people's minds the Christian community has tried to educate the faithful about their civil rights and duties. In Jharkhand, a program called Nurturing the Tribal Soul is creating awareness among the tribal of their own strengths and weaknesses, empowering them to stand up for their rights. In Kerala, the church supports the faithful for responsible participation in the democratic processes. The mission in West Bengal has been making students aware of government scholarships for university and postgraduate study. What have you done so far to safeguard the ecological crisis? The country is reeling under huge ecological crisis due to deforestation, mining, soil erosion, depletion of the ozone layer and pollution of water bodies. The fishing community of Latin Rite Christians in the coastal areas of southern India and the farming community living in Western Ghats are bearing the brunt of ecological imbalances. And now the pandemic has worsened the situation. Of course, the aftermath of pandemic was so terrific that many parishes had slipped into a dormant state. The pandemic has taught us to be even more conscious of the need to rebuild. We have reached out up to now about 15,000 families with food packets for about 10 days each and we are trying to do what we can. From the day one of Catholic missionaries' presence in India, the healthcare ministry was given utmost priority. The social apostolate is carried out at three levels. Charity-oriented, creation of awareness and rights-based interventions. You can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. The gospel is only good news if it gets there in time.
and this caring sharing mission would continue for the days to come and i wish you dear youth to take up the lead with your dreams and aspirations the church in india need to transform onto from a doing model to towards a being model where everyone becomes aware of one's relationship with jesus it needs to transform from parish activities to fostering small christian communities and basic human communities the church in india needs to transform from from being a priest centered clerical church to being a people oriented participatory church yes together as one nation and people of god may you guide me onto a new pilgrimage come on nation Imagine what would happen when we pray and believe for the fullness of God's life everywhere anywhere all the time all over India it would truly be incredible India Asian people they just people Asian mission caring mission Asia